right, so the article I chose is written by Marmel. It's uh, titled Quantifying Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation Dosage After Total Knee Arthroplasty. This is a level three evidence and target population was total knee arthroplasty patients and we use neuromuscular electrical stimulation. So for this, the parameters that they used in the study, they completed 10 contractions uh, for 10 seconds each using a sinusoidal wave uh, that was 50 hertz. And the target intensity was 30% of the each subject's maximal voluntary contraction. So in the study, they used a GRASS S8800 stimulator, but we do not have that, so we used more of a low-tech version. We just used a handheld dynamometer to determine his maximum voluntary contraction. And that was determined to be 53 pounds. So 30% of that was 15 pounds. So we've already determined, use the uh, NMES, to determine how much intensity we had to turn it up to get the 15 pounds, and that was determined to be 43 milliamps. So, in this they did six weeks of strength training, two to three times per week, be um, beginning three, week, three to four weeks after the surgery. And for this, the position that they used was the knee was flexed to about 60 degrees and the hip was about 90 degrees. Um, um, as I said, the dose was 30% of the patient's maximum voluntary contraction. Um, so it didn't say how much on and off time or off time it was. So research showed a longer off time for, shows greater improvements. So we did 50 second off time and 10 second on. Um, did not specify the pulse width. So we did 400 microseconds. Uh, we did a symmetrical waveform. And just to help make it a little more comfortable, we did a two second ramp up time and a two second ramp off time. So this study, they found that their outcome measures were quadricep strength, voluntary activation, and lean mass cross-sectional area and they found statistically and clinically important improvements in all three of those. And they also found that the dosage was significantly and positively correlated with those improvements in strength and activation improvements. Um, I believe they said about uh, all but eight of their subjects were able to tolerate 30% intensity, so that's a good thing. Um, but this is something that I would use in the clinic since they seem to get clinically and statistically significant improvements. And I think that is it.